Today I'm going to show you how to divide two numbers written in standard index form out and we need to leave the answer in standard index form. So in the example here we've got 3.5 times 10 to the power 7 and we're dividing that by 5 times 10 to the minus 4. So the first thing to do then is to work out 3.5 divided by 5. So we could do this by doing a little bit of short division. So if we do 3.5 and we need to divide that by 5. So 3 divided by 5 is 0, remainder 3. 35 divided by 5 is 7. So the first bit of our answer is 0 0.7. The next thing we need to do then is divide the powers of 10. So we've got 10 to the power 7 divided by 10 to the power minus 4. And if you remember your rule for powers for a division, you'd actually take away the powers when you divide. So we've got to do 10 to the power 7 take away minus 4. So this is the same as 10 to the power 7 plus 4, which is 10 to the power of 11. So we've now got 0 0.7 times 10 to the power of 11. Now you might think that is the final answer. However, 0 0.7 needs to be a number between 1 and 10 because when we have a number in standard index form, that first digit always has to be between 1 and 10. So we need to convert the 0 0.7 back into standard index form so it's between 1 and 10 so 0 0.7 can be written as 7 times 10 to the power of minus 1 if you didn't understand that take a look at my video on converting small numbers into standard index form and then we've still got times 10 to the power of 11 at the end so we're nearly done now so we just need to multiply these powers of 10 together so when you're multiplying powers you add the powers at the top so minus 1 add 11 is 10 so we get 10 to the power of 10 so that's our final answer